how to convert your Shopify store into a mobile app. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can convert your online store into a mobile application because having your own mobile application for your store can incentivize more customers to shop more frequently from you, especially once a customer downloads your application, they are very, very likely to frequently visit the application just to see what's new and what you have launched recently. And this just helps you in getting more clicks. You can even advertise other products that are not related to your niche and earn money from that as well. Now, keep in mind that converting into a mobile app is not the cheapest. There are some free alternates available that I will be discussing in this video, but some of the more popular platforms that enable you to do this are paid for and they usually cost around $99 a month. However, I will be showing you guys a couple of free alternates. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to Shopify and you're going to log on to your Shopify dashboard. Now, it's not really that complicated. After you log on, you click on settings on your bottom left and then you're going to click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left as well. And then on the top right, you're going to click on the Shopify app store. Now, once you click on your Shopify app store, you're going to search for mobile app builder. And once you search for mobile app builder, there are quite a few different results in front of you. Now, the one that I recommend is Shop Nay by Mobile App Builder. So this is the one that I recommend. It's super easy to use, but it is expensive. It's going to run you quite a large bill at $99 per month. So that is something to keep in mind if you are looking to get started. However, they do have a 30 day free trial, so you can use this for 30 days, figure out if you like it or not, and then choose to pay. Then you also have the one mobile app builder, which I also think is great. And this is easy to use. It is effective. Plus you can add your app to the play store app store. Plus it has a free plan. So you guys can see that they have the free plan where you can get access to five themes as well as create your own branding customization, have your essential, you know, essential design blocks. And then you can also add your product search, sort and filter options. Now, keep in mind that this has some limitations where you can't build, you know, native iOS and Android applications, whereas on the paid versions you can. And on their starter version, you can do that, which is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other mobile app builders starting at only $29 a month. Now, let's get started with the free version so everyone can follow along. You're going to click on install over here and you will be led to the Shopify installation page. So we're just going to install this application to get started with building our mobile app version of our Shopify store. So you're going to click on add sales channel on the top right. And once you do that, you're going to find it in the left toolbar in your sales channels. And you can pin this to the navigation to be able to easily access all of the items. Now, after that, you're going to enter the category which your app will fit best into. For us, this is going to be apparel and clothing. And then we're going to click on let's go a step further. And then after that, you can get started with choosing the design of your app, which is going to include your logo. So over here, you're going to click on upload logo and you can upload your own logo. I do have a logo for my Shopify store, but I don't think I can find it right now. So I'm going to click on I don't have a logo yet. And then you're going to choose your color. So the primary color of buttons. Let's say I want to theme this with like a nude pink color. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to choose like a darker pink for the buttons like so. And then after that, I have my text color, which is going to be white. And then I have my icon color, which I'm also going to change. And I'm going to make it pink as well. And then we have our background color. So in our background color, I'm going to choose a pink over here like this. I think I'm going to go with a really pale kind of pink like this. Now, after that, I'm going to click on next and then we're going to click on next over here like so. And now after that, you can click on continue exploring to start building each item. So after you have continued on, you are going to get started with building your application. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on customize in your app design. And then once you click on customize, you can start building your actual navigation. So this is just what our website is going to look like or our application is going to look like where on the front you have a banner image. 
So if I want, I can click on this and I'll upload my banner image, which might be, you know, a photo shoot or any image from your website or from your brand. Now, this is a large image, so the image format should be PNG, JPEG or JPEG. So I'm going to change the image. I'm going to use an alternate one instead. So let's say we want to use this image. So I'm just going to open this up, which is going to be our banner image like so making sure that the image size fits within the limits so once our image has been uploaded i can get started with a crop let's say i want to crop this image like so i don't want this to be too large i'm going to crop this image to make it like a very skinny banner because i know that phones don't have a lot of real estate you really need to make sure that you're focusing on what you want to advertise then you have your fill adjustment. I'm going to click on fit because I want this to be a skinny banner. And then I want to navigate this to a certain product. If it's linking to a product, you can add that. If it's linking to a collection, you can add that. And you can even add an external link in your application. And then you will have your product slider. Now in your product slider, you can choose the number of items to be displayed. Let's say I want this to display five items and then you can choose how you want the items to be portrayed whether it should be filled out, fit to their actual sizes, or stretched out. So I want it to be filled out, and the collection should be our homepage collection because all of my items are included in the homepage collection. And then we have our block title. So I don't want this to be titled New Arrivals. I want this to be titled Hot Sellers or Top Products, Featured Products, whatever you might want to call it. So after that, you have a collection glider, which some people might not necessarily need. So if you want to remove this, you can choose to. You can just click on the show icon and just hide this. We have a collection grid. I also want to hide this. Then you might have things such as your product grid. I don't want this anymore. A image glider, text pair. I'm going to keep the text paragraph over here. So I want to keep this page pretty short. Now, if you want, you can go into the next section. You're going to click on save on the top right and then click on your navigation and start building your navigation panel or your basic pages. So first off, we have a collection list, products and notifications. You can also upload a background that would be present on the back over here. And we can click on add menu item. So let's say I want to add a item title called tops and this would display a specific collection and that would be the tops collection. And I would click on add. Then in my product section, I'm going to place it right under product. And then after I've placed it under product, I think that's how I want it to be. I can place, you know, the next section, which might be my bottom section or any other categorization that I want to appear directly on the navigation panel can be placed over here. Then I'm going to click on save on the top right. And then you can click on your branding. So in your branding, you have the app name or logo. I haven't uploaded a logo, so it has the name, but I'm just going to use the name and then I'm going to customize the color and we're going to be using a nice little pink over here. And then after that, we have our preset colors and then we have our splash screen as well. So you can upload a splash screen image if you want. Now, after that, you can click on save on the top right and you can go back and you can click on preview on mobile and then you can actually open up your phone and just use the QR code scanner to preview this on your mobile application. So I'm just previewing this on my mobile application to see what it's going to look like. And you can just download the one mobile preview application and it would show you the application that you've set up. Now, after this, once you have your basic items set up, you can go into your analytics to see more info about your items. Then you will have your pricing, which is going to be the plan that you're subscribed to. And then you have your push notifications, which you can send to your customers that have downloaded your app. And just like this, you are ready to get started with selling on your mobile application. Once you have set up all of your basic stuff on your app, you can go ahead and click on your app submission and click on set up over here and actually submit your app to be added to the app stores. And you can choose your app markets, the listing info, and in a couple of days, you can get your app listed on the Google app store or on also the app store on iOS as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.